Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have x plus y equals 6 and then x y equals 6. But then let's call this our equation 1 and this our equation 2. Now, from our equation 1, we can make x the subject. So we have x to be equal to 6 minus y. And we will call this our equation 3. Now, the next thing is to put equation 3 into equation 2. Because it is equation 1 that gave us equation 3. It will go into equation 2. And equation 2 is x, y to be equal to 6. Now, our y, our x is um, 6 minus y. So, this y will be out. Then, open bracket for this. So, in place of x, I'll write 6 minus y. And this will be equal to 6. Open the bracket. As we have 6y minus y times y will be y squared then this is equal to 6 and then we can rearrange this so we have minus y plus 6 okay minus y squared plus 6y equal to 6 but if I bring everything to the left hand side that means minus y squared plus 6y minus 6 is equal to 0. But this is a quadratic equation and we wouldn't want it to start with this, um, a negative um, sign. So we multiply everything by negative 1 and this will turn to positive y squared. This will turn to negative 6y and this will turn to plus 6 and this is equal to 0. If you multiply negative by 0, it will still give you 0. Now we have a quadratic equation that we can solve using um, the formula method. Our a is 1, our b is minus 6, and c is plus 6. The formula is y equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. The whole of this is over 2a. Now, y will be equal to, we have um, negative, negative 6, because b is minus 6. Then plus or minus, b squared becomes minus 6 squared. Then minus 4 times a is 1, then times c, which is 6. And the whole of this will be over 2 times 1 for a. If we continue, then y will be equal to negative, negative will give plus 6, plus or minus. Then we have minus 6 squared will give 36. Then minus 4 times 6 is 24, right? Okay. And this will be over 2. If we continue, then we have y to be equal to 6 plus or minus 36 minus 24 will give 12. So we have square root of 12 and this will be over 2. Now, what do I do? Remember, I can break 12 into 2. So I have 6 plus or minus 12 is 4 times 3, right? And then we have over 2. If we continue, then y will be 6 plus or minus. Square root of 4 is 2. Then we have 3 here. Remember, the whole of this is over 2. Now, see what we will do. This means that y is equal to 2 will go here to give us 3 plus or minus. 2, again, we'll cancel this. So we have root 3. Now this is to say that y is equal to 3 plus root 3 or 3 minus root 3. Now remember 
that we are to find the value of x as well so we'll go back and apply this um, and substitute this value of x into our equation 3 the value of y into equation 3 so that we'll know the value of x okay so this is what we have and this is the equation that will give us the value of x so our x will be 6 open bracket now y is 3 plus 3 plus square root of 3 remember I will still use the next value right so from here x will be equal to 6 minus 3 minus square root of 3 because the negative will open the bracket so this means that x is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 so we have 3 minus root 3 now what do we mean we are saying that when x is equal to 3 minus root 3 y is equal to 3 plus root 3 okay now let's go back and work with the next value of y so that um y is 3 minus root 3 but then x is 6 minus y so let's put this in so that um, x will be equal to 6 minus open bracket 3 minus root 3 now the negative will open the bracket and x will be equal to 6 then minus 3 then plus root 3 so that's from here our x will be equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 then plus root 3 so what are we saying from here we are saying that when um, x is equal to 3 plus root 3 our y is equal to 3 minus root 3 now and I want us to bring the values together right so bringing the values together we have x to be equal to 3 plus root 3 and then y to be equal to 3 minus root 3 okay this will be correct or you have x to be equal to 3 minus root 3 and then y to be equal to 3 plus root 3 so these are the values of x and y that will satisfy the given equation.